diving bell. This one's really neat, actually. Uh, capture it. There we go. So we played a little bit of this one the other night. We got pretty far into it, but something happened. I think it like bugged out or something. Report. So it's like a type. So I have to like keep typing to get it to keep going. At 3 p.m. today, during a scheduled transferal from the land research base to Diving Bell W95, an explosive decompression incident occurred. Crew members, Riskowitz, Caraway, Hughes, and Houston had earlier been ordered to staff the Diving Bell for the purposes of research expedition into the Redwater Crevasse, during which they would collect samples of and photographs of the flora, fauna, and minerals found in those depths. All four base members were in the umbilical connecting land base. Oh, I clipped through a wall, and then, yeah, we had to restart. I didn't want to restart. All four base members were in the umbilical connecting land base to the diving bell when one of the automatic pressure regulation mechanisms failed. This mechanism, which normally equalizes the pressure in the umbilical with the water pressure outside, had to be manually overridden by a crew member, Thos, and the base contact for the research crew. When prompted to complete his manual override, Thos, this isn't my fault, this isn't my fault, god damn it, this isn't my fault. Base status critical. Report would like to apologize for the breach of professionalism in yesterday's report. As team leader and failure, any failure is on my shoulders. If rescued, I will cooperate with the company prosecution to the fullest extent. I'm beginning to worry, however, that there will be no chance to prosecute me. Risk, ugh, rescue possibilities are slim and growing slimmer. The incident yesterday seems to have affected the ocean floor. I think it has some kind of tectonic shift. I think some kind of tectonic shift has occurred, destabilizing the base. The facility is holding together, but electrical and mechanical difficulties. The base is only barely holding together. I've got to go to heating, or else motion deaths will be the least of my problems. Yeah, so we're in, like, some deep sea. I don't know why they'd have a picture of a giant tentacle, but... Crevasse. That's how it be. Generator terminal. Restart one. Some Scooby-Doo fucking ghosts. Start. Has anyone ever seen The Terror? There's a scene in, like, one of the first episodes where someone has to sit on a, like, plank and go out with the uh, diving suit on to, like, knock ice off the boat. And he has to wear diving, like, an old diving suit. So, like, you know, it sinks. It's like a fucking suit of armor. And he has to go out there and, like, basically knock chunks of ice off the boat that are, like, fucking with the, uh, the rudder. And if he falls off the swing, he just falls into the abyss. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, that would suck. Like, having to be in deep-ass water like that in the first place is awful, but then, like, the prospect of just sinking. Until you probably, I don't know, freeze to death, I guess? I don't know what the fuck would happen to you. It's a really good series, though. I never watched any of the, uh... They had, like, a second season. I never saw any of that. Transformers. Switch. Also, it kind of reminds me of Sequest. 
Anyone ever watch that back in the day? You think the pressure would crush you first? Yeah, I guess it'd just be like, whatever happens to you would be awful. Dude, Sequest, though. That show was weird. I think Vinny played like a Sequest game recently or something like that. Ryan Sequest. Caraway, the boiler's been on the fritz again. So much for wanting to help with the technical stuff. How many beers do you owe me now? 20? 30? Well, if I ain't here, the fixin's on you. I don't give a goddamn if it ain't your goddamn job. Spare parts are over in comms. Figure it out. Left some AAs over there, too, if all the loud noises in there have you scared too bad. Oh. We gotta get a, uh, a fuse. Yeah. I don't think he's played this yet. A lot of people have played this, though. It's a brand new game that just came out. So. I mean, I've already played this. I'm just playing it again to finish it. Plenty of people have played it. Yeah, it might have been me. It could have been a bunch of other people, though, too. I'm sure. It's possible. I guess I'll just go back. Communications has a fuse. It's just like a little tiny green thing, I think. Inner city, all. Nope, wrong way. Yeah, there's a couple submarine games lately. Well, I guess it isn't necessarily submarine, but. I've played at least one or two in the past month. There was a submarine game that for the two minute game jam that was just like you're in a submarine that's filling up with blood and you have to get out. That one was kind of fucked up. There's a boat game. I wish you could just jump off this. There's like a boat game where you are sinking, I think. There's someone chasing you. There it is. Hmm. I don't know if I necessarily remember that. Uh, you know, I gotta play Raft one of these days. I heard that's cool. Um, log update. Log interrupted by system failure. Parts of the base are currently inaccessible. The systems are not behaving as they should. Distress call from the comms room. Beacon has not been acknowledged. Current worst case plan of action will be to repair one of the high pressure diving suits using it to make. Oh, God. More mechanical failures. Personal note I think the situation may be affecting my piss. You're what? Discover my body now? I don't think so. Maybe, though. 
I don't know if I know that game that you're referring to. Sounds good though. If something causes you distress, avert your eyes and move to safety. Everything is fine out there. What's trying to kill you in this game? You'll see. You'll see. Affecting his piss. Yeah, you have to do like pill pain management. This is kind of a neat puzzle. So you have to like connect the colors. <laughs> connect the colors to the right color. Do you know red? Good job. You did it. When I was alive, I always feared the cold of death, leaving this world. See, my heart's like going crazy. I want to look at the scary stuff, but if you do, it hurts your your heart. My embrace of religion was that of a child. Made that mistake last time. When you killed me, you showed me a purpose, a state of being. Remember the like? There's a there's a show that plays in Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Why don't you come out and join us? Nah, I'm good with that. I'm good, dog. Monstrum 2, I wish. It's coming out soon, though. <clears throat> it actually won some, like, award at a convention. So I'm very interested now. The Baffler Meal. Personal note, I think the situation is affecting my psyche. Just saw something I could not possibly have seen in the depths like this. Though, the situation is not my fault. Not my fault! I ask that command please consider the stress of these circumstances once the investigative probe is launched. I was looking forward to spending Christmas with my wife and child. Why would I have not failed, not failed, when I did, didn't if I was scheduled to return to the mainland today, please excuse the rambling command. Not feeling very well. Going to bed. I did not, hamster. Is that any good? Or is it just like funny? Report. Oh shit, there he is. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't say his name. Don't look at him. Don't let them see your shame. Critical. Base still holds up for now. No response to distress call yet. Beginning to consider my escape options more thoroughly. A personal note. Please forgive the intrusion command. I think I slept last night. Let me take those pills. I think I slept last night. If it was night and if I did sleep. If I did... The incident that wasn't my fault was all I could think of. The others stood close around me. Speaking of things they couldn't have known of when they are alive. Po oh shit, power fluctuation. Even if I weren't worried about the life support systems continuing to function, I'm still on a way to check the electrical chamber. I don't like the way these shadows look. Don't think it, don't say it. Outside. Anomaly size 2,000 meters. Does that mean it's gigantic? I want to see it. What is it?
two miles long. Just on the sea floor, chilling. I don't know where this electrical uh, I gotta take the long way I see what is that didn't see anything Jesus Christ, his heart was about to explode. All right, take it easy, Lizard. The lift is broken. Forgot about that part. The handle's like under the table, isn't it? I'm going to die down here. Hills. Whoa. I'm like a big jump off that. I'll skip the part where I tell you that I'm beyond sick and tired of you telling people to remember the damn over code. Override code for the electrical system. Here it is, 1890. You get it that time? 1890, 1890, 1890, one more time. Now that you remember, I have this to say. If one more of you bastards wakes me up at 2 in the morning to ask me what the code is, I'm going to murder you with an axe. Don't test me. Damn, Hughes. Yeah, stay safe, dude. <clears throat> Careful. I had the same dream that you were talking about something real similar. I went to bed sober as a stone. There's an extra bit, a weird extra bit. When I woke up, I had something in my hand. A page. Looked like it had been torn out of the Bible. Something don't feel right down here anymore. And so far as it never did. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a big chungus down here, dude. Can we kill us all? In the abyss. He's gonna get us. I found the flywheel. I need to find the belt. Oh, you get like stuck. What else do I need? I could have sworn there was something else here. Each one's duller than the last. Not fit for cutting bread. Yet I'm almost tempted to take one. Can't take the axe. Oh, there it is. We just need another one of those. Another flywheel? Is a flywheel like a, a real fucking thing? One's a bit made up. Really? Well, then. What do I know? Hmm. 
Maybe it's in here. <gasps> it is. Fuck off, mate. I just never knew it was called a flywheel. We got one up. How bold of you to presume safety. How bold of you. Under these pressures, rivets waver, supports buckle, and glass cracks. Oops. How long do you think you have left? I, like you, had a family, dead before me. I have been promised I can see them again, and I believe those promises more than the empty words of the free world. You should think about it. You've noticed the presence. I can see it. Haven't you always wanted to be part of something greater? Haven't you Before always? You joined the company <clears throat> in the first place. I think you'll soon be very pleased. The depths call. Won't you listen? <laughs> Won't you listen? No, that's real. No. I'm so confused here. There we are. Garbage. We don't know the password, though. Houston, I don't like writing this, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna need an explanation for their conduct over the past few days. Risco Woodson Caraway said that you've been acting twitchy and hostile. I think you analyzed one of the drill unit samples and found something strange, and frankly, I think you're scaring them. I want to vouch for you. I really do. But I can if you don't tell me what's going on in your head. Come find me and let's talk. If you need more AAs, I'll get them to you. But not if I don't know what's happening. That's true, 1890. And try it. Ah, good job.
Wait, what? So to find it? It didn't. Thank the gods. It worked. I better get electrical up and running again. Back to the terminal now. Yeah, I get some Dead Space vibes from this. A little bit. There we go. Personal note, please forgive the intrusion command. I think I slept last night. Oh, yeah, we heard that one. Amendment. Another system failure. Electric this time. The other crew members linger outside the base. I think they blame me for what they for what happened, but they shouldn't. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Is that like a, that giant monster was sick? Yeah, that's sick. What? He eats you? Is that the bad ending? Base hole holds for now. I'm beginning to consider my escape options more thoroughly. I slept last night. If I did, uh, the incident wasn't my fault. Of all I could think of, they stood close around me. Speaking of things they couldn't have known when we were alive. Power fluctuation. I don't like this. I gotta do that again. I wish I would just save that shit. That was worth it though to see the giant monster and then like get eaten by it. That was cool. I don't like that. Oh my god, I gotta do all that again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a nervous breakdown. Well, I think it's like when, uh... You see, like, an eldritch monster, you, like, lose your mind or whatever. We go that way. Anxiety. Gotcha. Deep sea monsters are badass, though, let's face it. It approaches. I want to see it, but not have it kill me. Yeah, well, I mean, they would probably be one and the same. If you went insane, your heart would probably be not doing great, I guess. You would, I would assume, I guess. Fucking heart just explodes. I'm gonna die down here. How bold of you to presume safety in that tomb of glass and steel of yours. Oh, yeah, giant diamond. I forgot about that. With its flavor, supports buckle, and glass cracks. Cracks. How long do you think you have left? I, like you, 
had a family, dead before me. I have been promised I can see them again, and I believe those promises have been promised. words of the free world. You should think about them. You've noticed the presence. <clears throat> I can see it. Haven't you always wanted to be part of something greater? It was why you joined the company in the first place. I think you'll soon be very pleased. The Death's Call. Won't you listen? I don't know, I find the giant monster way more scarier than just like ghost people in the facility. I don't know if we have enough pills here to stay alive. My dude. I think I missed a bunch. Sitting around. Is it hitting uh Louisiana like head on? I thought I was going more towards Texas. Oh Is that where the landfall is instead? Yeah, it's like right on the border. Wow. <clears throat> um, amendment, another system failure. Electric this time. The other crew members linger outside the base. I think they blame me for what happened. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. It's Christmas Eve, and I was supposed to be home by now. Extension ordered at the last minute last week. Been in these depths for nine months. You're not going to look at that. My kid's forgotten what I'm look what I'm supposed to look like. I'm supposed to get holidays off. I should be in a warm bed. Crash between Christmas tree with Zena. Organizing the presents so they don't stick out and make the dog think it's a good idea to tear into them. But instead I'm gonna die down here. You'll destroy these logs, but before you do, you better read every word and know what happened down here. None of this is my fault. It's yours. That's the manufacturers. Why wasn't there a failsafe for the automatic doors? Why is there a manual override? Why didn't I push? Not, don't look, don't look. That was a waste. I got two pills now. Another mechanical failure killed the others, not me. Maybe throwing myself out the airlock is a good idea. After all, Beat's waiting around here to die. Rescue isn't coming, and I'm getting out of here. My diving suit's damaged, but there's a machine and pressure control that should repair it. Is that it moving? Yeah, how's the wind? The others are lying. I disabled the automatic air leaf. Air leaf. Airlock fail safe myself. Combine some of these words. Where the fuck is it? Our plan's in motion. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. It was like some kind of mutiny. Mm 
broke that. What is that sound? Oh yeah, this is all different. They like tagged it up. It's all like culty now. So I thought the suit was like down here. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What is that? The fuck is that? The repair process looks like it'll take a while. I should write a log. I should write a log. I should write. I should hide. I need to write a log. Finish your last log, you guilt ridden, rotted meat. Okay. <clears throat> December 25th, 1993. Same as it's been the last two times. Not like anything would write. Not like anyone else out down here would write anything down. I don't know what else happened. My readout says that it's been hours. But I've just been sitting here this whole time. Not the whole time. There was... Not quite a vision of something filling my head. More like an impression. The outline. Oh. Damn it, damn it. Space has to hold together. I have to finish my log. Mechanical failure. Oh my god, it's here. It's huge. A dark something fills the crevasse. Half buried in the wall. Tendrils reach out through the earth. Why is this log so important? The man of the suit's fix. I have to pair the power. Yeah, just get somewhere safe. That you can get to. It is like a little puzzle. Fuck, I just did that. Tendrils reach out through the earth, probing blindly, sensing tremors of life. Like me, its silhouette was massive and dark and bristling. Not a form like anything I've ever seen. My first thought... Ah, go away. I need to finish this log. My first thought was of a mass of pustules. Life support failure? Not for long. Life support. Damn it. It's hitting us. It's like some kind of giant monster. Oiler. I thought this was life support. Sample collection, generator room, life support. Yeah, it was back there.
the fuck? Am I not in Transformers? Boiler room. On the first floor. What the heck? Yeah, here I am. The last words of a man who will live on. Yeah, I fucked up. I keep forgetting what some of the machines look like, I guess. But holy and impossibly large, I can feel it tapping into the darkness below. There's one concern I've got. Those long, slender appendages in the earth are all beneath the base and so long that they could easily wrap around it or wriggle in the open water. So they could have easily found their ways into the walls of the base. But I haven't seen them, if that's the case. Are we rapping? Are they tampering with the electronics or could it be something or someone else? I don't like this, but I have one other persistent thought burning. But no, it can't be. It won't accept it. There's nothing reading this but me. All right, I'm ready. I think I can go get that godforsaken bell. With the respiratory tank attached to this suit, I should be able to withstand the pressure long enough to get there. Assuming I can get to the bell before the pressure collapses it. Damn it. Assuming the bell still, uh, is still beside the base and hasn't fallen into the crevasse. Assuming nothing grabs me while I'm out there. This will be the last log. Zaina, Ada, I'm coming home oh one way or another. Boy. You've really been having a rough go of it, eh? Stuck down here with just the four of us. It's supposed to be locked. On days, not a word from the surface, not a ray of sunshine. Just the depths and the dark. In the dank. And if that weren't bad enough, then you go and decide to blow us all out into open water with the pressure of 200 atmospheres bearing down on us. Our deaths were instant, but you bet your sorry ass they weren't painless. Now I know and you know that this isn't new to you. You already knew all this, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. That okay. guilt that you've been pretending like you don't have? The paralytic, mind-numbing horror of what you've done? All those logs you spent all that time writing? This one's called Diving Bell. That's all been according to plan. Our new friend's got all the details it needs on you. Now all you two have to do is meet. I'm sure you'll get along swimming. Oh, shit. He said the water word. Swimmingly. Put on the suit. Put on the suit. Dude is like really close to going insane right now too. Oh, pills, nice. I'm gonna take those. So I'm looking for the pressure chamber. Communications. Uh oh, fuck, do you see that? Like it was like something's coming through the walls almost. Calm um, room, so I want to go down a floor. <gasps> There's something out there. What is that? 
The world, the globe is all like dark now. It's just like a light map, I think. Oh shit. Get the axe. You're gonna need it. I don't like how the elevator looks like a diving chamber. Uh, you have to not look at things. If you look at bad things for too long, you die. It's kind of a game play, I guess. Your heart explodes. And yeah, allegedly there's something outside. Also, the dead bodies of your friends are still floating around and like haunting you. I'm assuming that's the, the diving bell. So we're going down. Down, 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 down. Here we go. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit like amnesia. Oh, fuck. What is it? Nope, don't look at them. Nope. What the fuck? And there I was, thinking I'd never see my family again. I should have had faith. Zana, 80, your smiling faces are all I've ever wanted to see for so long. Didn't see the last part. Oh! Oh, it's supposed to be stretched out like that? Merry Christmas. That's a fucking awesome ending. I fucking love it. Oh, that's sick. I like it. Yeah, that was good. I like that one a lot. That was one of my favorite ones, I think, on the whole thing. On all of uh, Dread X. Rip and piss. I think with Subnautica and stuff like that, we know people are interested in that kind of horror. Like anything deep sea, just make it a little bit more psychological. There's so much potential there. You know what I mean? Like for the horror, like look at the abyss, the movie or like anything about underwater stuff. Like even, even like, like, um, like kaiju movies and stuff like that have a lot of like water monsters and shit like that. I don't know. A lot of those monsters like come out of the earth. Yeah. There's a lot of cool unknown stuff in the, in the ocean. I love a horror game about, about the water. Even Bioshock kind of like, kind of, you know, I mean, it takes place underwater. It doesn't really have stuff like that in it, but it brushes up uh, along it a little bit. It's good. I like that one. I like that. Yeah, that one's called The Diving Bell. That was on the Dread X collection. The theme of the collection was um what was it? There was